Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to Summertime Tarot. For those of you who don't know, my name is Summer and this is what I'm calling a heartbroken singles love reading. So this is for folks who may have recently experienced a breakup, um, those who may be finding it you know, difficult out in the dating scene, who wanna put themselves out there, but feel a little bit blocked, right? So we're gonna just be taking a look at, you know, what's kind of blocking you and what you can do to kind of get things rolling in the right direction in your romantic love life, okay? Um, but let's go ahead and see what's going on here with single cancer, sun, moon, rising sign. Okay. Okay, so we have uh, self-love. Show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. Okay. Bottom of the deck. We have uh, make it God's release the idea of my as soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives when there is no grasping the right actions get shown free me from the prison of my dear Lord. Okay. I kind of get the feeling here, right, that um, some of you may like have this kind of almost like a fantasy or like a preoccupation with like what you the relationship you desire or the the love that you desire right and it may kind of be mm, attached to you being a certain way or your life being a certain way um, before you can get it which may be kind of blocking you or keeping you from receiving that love right I feel like with the self-love showing up here is kind of time right to kind of really kind of focus on I feel healing yourself right we do have the inner child showing up right so it may be time for you to really kind of sit down and connect with your inner child to heal any wounds that you have um surrounding love and like why you may feel that you have to be a certain way to receive love or your life has to be going a certain way for you to receive love that kind of thing but let's see here because i do kind of get the feeling like this idea of love right i feel like it's almost like an idea or like a fantasy that you may be attached to um maybe even a specific person um, that you that you see yourself kind of like marrying or settling down with or just an idea of what that person is supposed to look like. And I feel like you may be idolizing or, or kind of putting it on like a pedestal to the point where it's it's unreachable for you because you know you don't you don't feel connected to it in some way if that makes sense well, let's see what else wants to come out for you here So we have, OK, 
Okay. Right, so with the communication here, I feel like you may have a hard time communicating your needs here. Right, you may like still have like some things uh, surrounding like your parents or things that happen in childhood, right? Because we do have inner child showing up in your self-love card. Um, there may be some things that happened to you in childhood or just some things you're still carrying from childhood that you haven't completely released um, that, ha that are kind of showing up in um, your romantic relationships. I feel like it may be to do with um, like not being able to communicate like your needs or feeling like... Um, what you need or what you want isn't important or you know what i'm saying and i feel like that may be showing up as well in your in your romantic life right you may have the tendency to kind of go with to kind of just go with the flow to kind of go with what your partner wants um even though it's like you may not be getting what you desire or what you need in the relationship you may have a hard time you know expressing your kind of your inner world your emotional world and i feel like that's kind of blocking you right because i feel like it may be that you're um you may even have a hard time kind of understanding what you're feeling or what's going on with you internally right understanding you know what you want what you need how you feel about certain things because you may have kind of blocked that kind of out in your childhood or felt the need to do so in order to to um you know kind of keep things going keep things copacetic okay well, let's see here Right, there may may st be some things still here from your childhood that happened with your parents that you that you haven't released yet, and that may be um, affecting your romantic relationships. Yeah, I feel like with these cards here, right? We have friendship, service, fear, and grief. I feel like you may um, kind of give love out of fear, like you may give into what other people want or. Um, out of fear that they may like um, abandon you or 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 kind of leave you if um, you don't give them what they want right which kind of leaves you kind of grief stricken not getting what you need and I feel like you may kind of have the tem tendency to kind of shove that down and to keep it pushing and that's kind of blocking you and kind of keeping you stuck keeping you from like getting and receiving the love that you desire let's see here
Okay, so I feel like here, like you, yeah, I feel like there's some fear surrounding um, making connections with folks. Almost, almost like a, almost like a, you kind of push, you may push people away out of fear of being hurt or out of fear of kind of losing control of yourself or of the situation, right? Almost like if you kind of give in to love or if you kind of give in to um, your feelings or your emotions that it will like kind of overtake you and you can't control it, that kind of thing. You can't control like where things are headed or like, you know, so you kind of, Hold yourself back. Right. I feel like, yeah, with this Ace of Wands showing up in reverse, I feel like there is a desire here, but I feel like your fear of who you'll become in a relationship or, or even who you'll attract to you right maybe um keeping you from connecting with other people so you kind of push people away you kind of keep them at a distance in order to i feel like kind of preserve yourself to preserve you know who you are right Yeah, I feel like there's this kind of focus on um, excuse me, excuse me, like this focus on like kind of controlling, I feel like your emotions, controlling the situation, right? I feel like there's this fear of being out of control or kind of losing control or even being taken taken for a fool. That's kind of what I wanted to say there. Or being taken for a ride. And then not knowing like where it's going. All right? And right, this could be to do with like maybe even like a past relationship, right? That maybe um, didn't go the way you wanted it to or kind of left you in a space that you didn't like, to put it simply. And I feel like, especially with this rebirth showing up here, I feel like, you know, your past, I feel like your past which may have been like very kind of um, hard for you. And it kind of took, it took a lot for you to kind of recreate or like to create yourself in, in this kind of image of who you wanted it to be or who you want it to be um, to, to kind of gain control over, I feel, um, maybe some things that happened in the past that were kind of hard, that were traumatic. And because of that, um, you know, it took a lot for you to kind of get to the place that you're that you're in. And because of that, um, you may keep people at a distance because you, you know, you don't want to kind of be taken down that that path again. Almost like you may be afraid of losing yourself, or. Um, not being able to control things. But let's see what you can do here to um, get things moving in the right direction, okay, in your love life.
some of you may still be holding on to like a past relationship maybe still desiring um to reconnect with that person and because of that you may still be um kind of keeping your distance from other people pushing people away because you you know you you have somebody in mind that you want to get close to that you still haven't kind of released oh my okay hold on <laughs> So we have Silver Waterfall, Intimacy in Reverse. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of time for you to kind of tap into like your own kind of inner world, like to, to kind of begin to understand like what's like really holding you back. And what you can do on your end to kind of get prepared for what it is that you want, right? With the silver waterfall showing up here, there are some things, right? Especially with forgiveness that you still need to release here. I feel like with this intimacy showing up in reverse, yeah, I feel like you you may be afraid of, you know, intimacy, really connecting deeply with other people, right? I feel like with sexuality showing up here, you may, you know, you may have like control over or just want to control your your um your desires, right? But I feel like um there is some fear here surrounding like deeply connecting with someone. Yeah, cuz I feel like there's this fear of like kind of losing yourself in your in your relationships right so you may like focus on you know some of you may focus on like physical connections or like very like surface level connections um in order to to keep control over like your your inner world your deeper feelings right and i feel like there's a need for you to kind of uh to really connect with yourself in a deep way to release any kind of, I feel, maybe resentments or like some past traumas surrounding connecting with, with someone in a deeper way, right? For some of you, there may be even some... Um, Like just some deep wounds surrounding your physical body. Like, how do I say this? Right, some of you may have experienced maybe um, you know, trigger warning. Some of you may have experienced some, um, maybe uh, sexual violence or, or, or sexual abuse, right? And you, and that may be why you keep folks at a distance. Um, Right, I feel like there may still be some some healing needed in regards to that. Right, to kind of really work through that before um, exploring 
romantic relationships, right? But let's see what else wants to come out for you. So what do we have here? So we have throne and confidence. Yeah, I feel like it's time for you to work on like your, your confidence within yourself. Um, right? Like I feel like you may be afraid of being hurt or maybe even being used or mistreated um, by other people. Right? Or even abused. Right? There may be like an hist a history of abuse for you. And because of that, you keep your distance from people, right? You don't you don't want to get too close for fear of, you know, um, that repeating itself. Yeah, so I feel like there's like this need to, to really kind of heal, to heal and fully release. Um, those past traumas so that they're not, you know, blocking you and holding you back from really connecting with, with people on a deeper level, right? And receiving the love that you desire. Excuse me. So we have here the Emperor in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot. Yeah, I feel like, you know, for most of you, there's this kind of insecurity here. Or this fear of being hurt that's really blocking you from um, that's your main blockage you know what I mean um, there's also this kind of grief this kind of you know th this pain that you may still be holding on to within your being within your heart um, that you that you need to release that you kind of need to kind of I feel with the with the Knight of Wands, I feel like to find some kind of um, way of expressing it, way of expressing it or releasing it, right? This could be like a creative outlet or, um, you know, kind of maybe like a, a support group um, to kind of to work through these feelings so that they're not kind of still, you know, kind of deep within your being and kind of holding back your progress i feel like this you know um for most of you right um this this three of swords in reverse this this pain this kind of trauma that i feel like you you know you're still holding on to i feel like it's not only blocking you in your romantic relationships but it may be blocking you in other areas of your life right and i feel like you would know so right and i feel like um You know, it's kind of time for you to find an outlet for that, to find some kind of way to 
to release those those feelings, those fears, those aggressions that you may still have based on like your past experiences or, um, you know, those emotions that you may still be carrying within you, right? But let's get you here um, a goddess. So we got two here, it looks like. Yeah, so we have Ma'at and Oshun. Yeah, I feel like with Ma'at showing up here, right, I feel like for those of you who may have experienced some kind of like trauma in the past that you may still be um, holding on to, right? And I don't mean like when I say holding on, I don't mean like you're still like, oh my gosh, you know, like holding on to it like that. But I, 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 I mean, good grief, let me get it together. I mean... Holding on to it in that it's still within you. you. You still haven't completely healed from it. You still haven't completely released it. Um, it may still be kind of circulating within your being, right? I feel like my eye is showing up here to really let you know that, you know, whatever happened to you, justice will be served, okay? To whomever may have hurt you, right? And it's and it's like you can release it and know that, you know, um, you're safe. But let's read. Ma'at rules over all things related to truth and justice, so you'll be gaining fair treatment for whatever you're seeking, okay? Right? And I feel like that's also like for folks who may be, you know, like just afraid of like being hurt. You know, it's kind of time for you to, to trust and believe that, you know, what you desire is what's going to, you know, kind of come to you to kind of not be afraid that you're going to be hurt. Because that's kind of that fear that you're putting out is kind of going to be matched by the vibes of whoever is coming in. OK, but let's look at Oshun here. You've been hurt and Oshun is here to help soothe and nurture your heart so you can forgive. Forgiveness is the gift we give ourselves. So let the loving goddess guide you through the pain. Love for yourself will free you from agony. Yeah, I feel like it's time for you to kind of release that hurt, that pain, to really have confidence within yourself and to have confidence in, I feel like, the divine to kind of right the wrongs of other folks. You know what I mean? Whomever hurt you or, or did you wrong or might have, you know, mistreated you, you know, it's kind of time to kind of release that and to kind of forgive, right? We always hear, you know, forgive for yourself, not for anyone else. But it's really like, you know, kind of letting it go so that it's no longer kind of holding you back or, or kind of, you know, hurting you from within, you know what I mean? But that's all I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.